In this video, we will allow group members to post content to our group. You may have noticed that Chelsea does not have any way to post an article to the group. In order to allow her to do so, we first need to allow authenticated users to post articles to the site. So when we're logging as the administrator, we'll go to People, Permissions. We're going to scroll down and give the authenticated user permissions to create new content for article, edit own, and delete own. I'm also going to go ahead and give them the create new content for basic page, edit own, and delete own basic page. We'll use these later in the series. So I'll go ahead and save permissions. Now when Chelsea views group number two, if we refresh, you'll see that she can now create an article. She has the article link under the content create links. Let's create Chelsea's first article. We'll just click on article and give it a title. And a body. And for the group's audience, we'll leave group number two selected. And you notice it's already selected, and that's because we chose to create the article from within the group. I'll use the group defaults for the visibility and just save. And we're taken back to group number two, and we see the article at the top of the list. When we view the article, you might notice that Chelsea doesn't have any way to edit or delete her article. This is because it is posted to group number two, and group number two's permissions say that articles cannot be edited or deleted. Let me show you what it would look like if her article were not posted to a group. In group number two, I can click the article link again, give it a title, and a body. And for the group audience, I'm going to deselect group number two. The way you do this is um, either command click on the Mac or control click on Windows and I'll leave the group defaults and save. Now immediately we see that Chelsea's second article is not listed on the group number two page, and that's good because we told it not to. If I click home, we do see it, and when I click on Chelsea's second article, you'll see an edit tab. When I click that, we can make any edits uh, we would like or even delete the article. Let's go back home and select Chelsea's first article. Again, she doesn't have any way to edit this, and this is because group number two's permissions say that no one can edit or delete articles they post to the group. In this next video, we will take a look at what those permissions are and how we can change them. And something to keep in mind is that users with the site-wide permission to create an article who are not members of group number two We'll see the link to create an article on the group number two homepage, but won't actually have the option to post that article to the group. Instead, it'll just act like Chelsea's second article and not be associated with the group. 